Hi everybody, I'm Blaine Tyler for Finding Sasquatch. Come to you again from Northeastern Ontario. Okay, uh, today's video is about where's the lost Patterson footage? The Bigfoot Sasquatch footage from Bluff Creek, 1967, uh, taken during the month of October. Um, as everybody knows, Roger got the film of Patty crossing a sandbar, but that was only a minute long. He has like six reels of footage from his month there and one of them number two is um, the footage of Bob and Roger I don't know who was doing some the filming uh, casting and measuring and uh, Patty's trackway and that reel as long as uh, perhaps the number one reel with Patty was packed up and shipped off to Yakima Washington where Bob's boss at the time Al uh, Diatli um, received it and I guess had it processed and and, um, and then they gathered up their evidence after they packed up and they made their way to uh, back to Washington and um, through the contacts uh, and um, work of John Green they got an audience at BC University now this is where it kind of goes sideways and um, there's a really awesome print of Patty about 15 inch uh, long, four wide, two and a half, three inches deep. But as you know, obviously Roger, there's a picture of Roger casting all the prints and everybody gets sidetracked by, you know, well there's casting material on one leg and not on the other or he's got a beard in this shot and not in the other. Well he was there for a month and there was a whole trackway of hundreds of prints. so. I mean, um, he probably was just keeping the best ones. Um, but anyway, uh, so th there's the trackway cast uh, correlating to each of the prints. And as I said, Roger filmed and documented the trackway and the casting of the prints. And then they um, met up with some scientists and people at, at BC University in uh, Vancouver. They had an audience there of uh, scientists who, unbeknownst to Roger and Bob, were ordered from the Ministry of Wildlife to not comment on the footage either way. And even at that this stage, back in 67, there was fear. Fear of this creature being real. And they say, well, why do people fear the creature? Well, um, I, I call it the Sasquatch threat, and I'm writing about it in my book book when I ever get it finished but basically uh, as everybody knows or if you're not if you're new to the footing uh, culture is that Sasquatch is not very popular in politics it's definitely not popular in religion and in general in the general culture um, and that's occurred because government and science wouldn't back evidence even if the evidence was legitimate so then the media picks up on that and the negative angle and they relay that information to the general public and now the general public has the assumed notion that everything Bigfoot is just crazy and, and hoax and fake and it just goes on and on so even today I've run into that with uh, parks and stuff you show them a real picture and they oh that's got to be a 10 foot tall guy crossing the swamp they just everything but a real Sasquatch. But anyway, moving forward, um, the Sasquatch footage and the documentation of the trackway was presented, and they didn't get much uh, luck, uh, have much luck with the scientists. In fact, one of the scientists behind the scenes uh, really ridiculed the footage, and uh, they were more suspect of Roger and Bob than worrying about is that a real Sasquatch he just filmed. And um, so it all started as soon as Roger reeled in the, the big one, the, the footage of that, and then it just kind of domino effect. And um, But uh, they went to New York, showed some more people, got the same response, media backed out of it. But the zoologists thought it was very interesting because they could see traits of gorilla behavior in Patty's walk and, and, her and how she behaved after being discovered and when she bolted. But anyway, uh, Mr. John Green, late great John Green, thinks that uh, was it Al Diatli uh, 
has real number two or that it's stuffed away in a vault in the museum or at the university. Uh, it's a good thing him and uh, Bob Tightness with the uh, cast from Bluff Creek, they went up there because they not just Roger and Bob seen the trackway, they, they, could, they could have collaborated it and collaborated on it and uh, confirmed that it was a real creature that made that trackway. And um, even Dr. Krantz could tell by looking at the footage that there's no way that that could be faked with a guy in a suit of that proportion, the stride, the power of the stride, the depth of the prints, and that hard to get to location. But in a way, um, even Dr. Krantz, the smart guy, he couldn't foresee the intense resistance to Sasquatch being real. And I'll get into that more. And uh, here's the original clip. Enjoy. Right, so pretty awesome um, footage of Patty being caught in the open and bolting. Uh, probably afraid she's going to get shot again, which you can see a bullet wound on her leg, probably from watching uh, construction workers and then one of them taking a shot into the woods, getting clipped there. Uh, but Renee was the last person to view the original footage. Um, he took some chromatic stills. These are copies of what he did and um, they've been used to match up the trackway with each stride each print and then each cast of the print and all the defects and anomalies that prove that sasquatch is a real living breathing creature living in woods of north america and around the world under different names and uh as you can see with this great print here this is off the internet um patty uh, with the, the side sway of the print and the, the anomaly in the middle of rock or something that these are not wooden cutouts of feet being stomped into the sand this is real prints of a real creature that Roger and Bob filmed and then documented the trackway important that we find that footage uh, let's use social media for something good other than just arguing with strangers um, Again, about the fear, well, Sasquatch uh, goes against religion, um, it goes against uh, politics, uh, when I say po politics, I mean politicians won't support it, uh, many reasons, most likely uh, economy, economics, and then protecting people, they don't want people to be scared to go into the woods for a hike or go camping. But uh, just think of the damage of um, a clan of Sasquatch being documented at, like a, at a logging cut or uh, at a mine or where a new hydro dam is going to go in. Um, it goes against the economy and economics in that way and therefore people might lose their jobs and the politicians are, see to, are there to make sure the economy keeps going and the country keeps running so uh, they're not going to get behind it unless it something uh, dramatic happens and uh, that's why uh, one of the reasons we need to find that footage in reel number two is to support the PGF the original reel of Patty and uh, yeah Sasquatch are real they're in the woods we have to deal with it and just be respectful all right thanks for watching I'll see you soon